In this tutorial, you'll learn two simple and clean text animations in Premiere Pro. Let's start with the first one, a slide up effect where each letter appears individually. First, select the text tool from the toolbar, then click in your program monitor and start typing your text. I'm using the word simple. Also, make sure to click the selection tool and drag your text to the center of the frame. You can do that by holding down the control key. Once you're done, increase the text size and choose a color you like. Now, in the effects library, search for the crop effect and drag it onto your graphics layer. Go back to the effect controls, select the crop effect, and in the program monitor, draw a box around the first letter. You'll see why in a moment. Next, search for the transform effect and drag it onto the same graphics layer. In the effect controls panel, make sure the transform effect is listed below the crop effect. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Now set a position keyframe, then move backward in time and drag the position all the way down. Thanks to the crop effect, the letter will now slide in from below. Then, move a little forward in time and copy the last keyframe, then paste it. Move forward again and copy-paste the first keyframe as well. This makes the letter disappear again. Now it's time to ease some keyframes. Expand the velocity curves, then pull the handle of the second keyframe. This eases the animation in. For the exit animation, pull the handle of the first keyframe. This eases the animation out. Also, don't forget to enable motion blur by increasing the shutter angle. That's it for the heavy lifting. Next, we'll duplicate the graphics layer in the timeline. Select the duplicate layer, go to the effect controls, and adjust the crop box so that the second letter appears. It will automatically follow the same animation. Then, go back to the timeline and repeat this step for all remaining letters. To create the one-by-one -one animation effect, we'll offset the layers. Select all layers except the first one, then press Alt and tap the right arrow key three times. This will move them three frames forward. Then select everything above the second clip and do the same. Keep repeating this process until all letters are offset. If you want, you can now nest the layers to keep everything organized. And that's it. Here's your final text animation. Before proceed to the next, I will tell you guys about FireCut, an AI-powered plugin for Premiere Pro that makes captioning super easy. With just one click, FireCut automatically generates accurate captions in multiple languages, and you can fully customize their style and timing to match your visuals. No more manual transcription or weird line breaks. But that's not all. FireCut also lets you add chapters, highlight key moments, and even create social media friendly cuts, all powered by AI. Want to give FireCut a spin? Hit the link in the description and start your free trial today. It's super quick and totally worth it. Next, we're going to create a very cool 3D text animation. First, make sure the Properties panel is open. You can enable it by going to Window, then Properties to enable it. Now, select the Rectangle tool from the toolbar. In the Program Monitor, click and drag to draw a box. In the Properties panel, disable the fill and enable the stroke. I've set mine to white. Next, ensure your clip is selected, then choose the Text tool again and type your text. I typed Simple. Adjust the text to fit inside the rectangle. You can also reselect the rectangle and adjust its size to frame your text perfectly. Now select the text layer in the properties panel, then press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V to duplicate it. Select the bottom text layer, disable the fill, and enable the stroke. Make sure the stroke is set to inner so it becomes visible only when the top filled layer is hidden. Now that we have all the elements ready, let's animate them. First, search for the basic 3D effect in the Effects Browser and drag it onto your graphics layer. We want this applied only to the rectangle, so drag it until it's on top of the rectangle layer only. In the Effect Controls, move the playhead forward a few frames and set a tilt keyframe. Then go back in time and set the tilt to 90 degrees. Don't forget to ease the last keyframe to smooth out the animation. Next, we want to apply the same animation to the text layer. In the Properties panel, copy the basic 3D effect and paste it. This time, drag it on top of the first text layer. You can hide the top filled layer if needed. However, there's one issue. The basic 3D effect applies to everything below the layer. To fix this, select both the text and the basic 3D layer. Right click and choose Create Group. Now, the effect will only apply to the text layer inside that group. Back in effect controls, make sure the playhead is on the first keyframe 
and instead of 90 degrees, set the tilt to negative 90 degrees. This instantly looks cooler. Now go back to the rectangle layer, copy the last keyframe, move further in time and set the tilt to 180 degrees. This creates a full rotation. Again, ease the keyframes for smoother animation. Next, we'll reveal the filled text as the rectangle rotates. This is where the top text layer comes back in. Enable it and in effect controls, place the playhead just before the rectangle starts turning. Find opacity and click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, draw a mask over the text to make it invisible. Set a mask path keyframe, then move forward in time and adjust the mask so it follows the top edge of the rotating rectangle. This will make the fill of the text reveal itself. And there you go, it looks amazing. This way you can create two stylish text animations without using After Effects right inside Premiere Pro. If you want to learn how to make your own transitions, click the top right video. Or if you'd like to learn the best Premiere Pro tricks, click the bottom right video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials just like this one.